December 1st, 2022, I was severely injured in a high school volleyball game by a transgender athlete on the opposing team. I suffered from a concussion and neck injury that to this day I'm still recovering from. Other injuries I still suffer from today include impaired vision, partial paralysis on my right side, constant headaches, as well as anxiety and depression. I was unable to play the rest of my last volleyball season, and although I am currently playing softball, I am not able to perform as well as I know I have in the past because of the injury. My ability to learn, retain, comprehend has also been impaired, and I require accommodations at school for testing because of this. I could go on and on about how this incident has affected my life, but I'm not here for that because I'm not here for me. Because for me, I know that my time playing is coming to an end. I'm here for every biological female athlete behind me. My little sister, my cousins, my teammates. Allowing biological males to compete against biological females is dangerous. I may be the first to come before you with an injury, but if this doesn't pass, I won't be the last. The North Carolina High School Athletic Association policy states that it allows participation in interscholastic athletics for all students, regardless of gender or gender identification. It is the intent that all students are able to compete on a level playing field in a safe, competitive, and friendly environment, free of discrimination. Clearly, that does not include biological female athletes. My ability to compete was taken from me. Having to play against biological males is not a level, a level playing field.